Our eyes see light through waves of different colours and lengths, but can the colour blue be more dangerous than others? Light is made up from electromagnetic particles that travel in a wave. They range in energy and length. The shorter the wavelength, the higher the energy. The electromagnetic spectrum is made up of different wavelengths which contain both visible and non-visible lights. The wavelengths are grouped into categories. There's gamma rays, x-rays, UV or ultraviolet rays, visible light, infrared light and radio waves. As you may have guessed, the human eye can only see the visible light part of the spectrum. Blue light is on the opposite side of the visible light spectrum than warmer colours such as yellow and red. That means that it's closer to the UV side of the spectrum, which means that it also has a much shorter wavelength than red light, very close to the wavelength of UV light. By extension, that means that blue light contains the highest energy of any of the visible lights, which has now led some scientists to believe that exposure to blue light can cause permanent damage to your eyes. This is because some wavelengths can trigger chemical reactions in your eyes that can permanently damage your eyes' photoreceptors. However, more research in this area needs to be done to determine the likelihood and risk factors of this actually happening. Blue light has wavelengths between 500 and 380 nanometers, which is considered the HEV part of the light spectrum, and for those of you who don't know, that's the high energy visible light. This is very close to the UVA part of the UV wavelength, which is only between 315 and 380 nanometers. Now, UVA may be the safest of all the UV wavelengths, but UVA is still strong enough to be linked to skin cancer after prolonged exposure. But it's not all bad. In its natural form, our bodies use the blue light emitted from the sun to regulate your natural sleep and wake cycles. Now, this process is known as the circadian rhythm, your body's biological clock. Through this, blue light is known to boost your energy levels, attentiveness, alert time and hormone production. So much so that blue light therapy has been used with positive results in treating various mood-based disorders, including depression. Psychologists also say that the colour blue is a positive colour which can be linked to increased productivity and learning. Now, many educational institutes and offices either use blue colours or cooler toned lights for this benefit. Now, on the flip side, blue light can reduce the secretion of melatonin at night. Now, those of you who don't know, melatonin is the hormone that regulates sleep. This can not only cause a pattern of disruptive sleep, but can cause more health problems that can be attributed to sleepless nights, including a weakened immune system, poor memory and weight gain. This has been a concern for a while now, but thankfully steps have been taken so that we can protect ourselves should we wish so. Now, iOS and Android both have a blue light filter known as Night Light on Android and Night Shift on iOS. These allow users to adjust the colour temperature of the display, reducing the amount of blue light emitted from the display itself. Now, this can be automated at certain times to ease the blue light effect at night and return the display to normal during the day. Windows 10 and Mac OS 10 now also have these features built in so that your computer's display will also play nice with your eyes. So should we all abandon blue light together and live in a warmer yellow world? No. The takeaway from this is to regulate your usage of light. Blue light has its benefits and is essential for everyday life, but try to limit the usage of blue light in your house, especially at night, and activate the night mode settings on your devices if that's possible. This will ease the strain on your eyes at night and could also lead to an improved sleep schedule. So thanks for watching this video, if you found it useful be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon for future content. But until next time, it's been Subzi, adios!